Hey Miami Lakers, how you doing? And welcome to our daily COVID-19 update here in the town of Miami Lakes. Residentes aquí de Miami Lakes, bienvenido a nuestro update de cada día del coronavirus. Estamos aquí en lo que se llama Picnic Park West, el parque atrás de CBS, aquí en la 154-82. Miami Lakers, we are at Picnic Park West. That's the park right behind the CBS on 82nd Avenue, uh, which is also Montrose. Uh, Montrose Road here in the town of Miami Lakes, and as you can see, uh, there's staff out here uh, monitoring the uh, the situation, uh, making sure that folks are doing the right thing, that you're out here exercising, but at the same time following uh, the proper guidelines set forth by the CDC and the infectious disease experts. Como ven, estamos aquí en el parque, eh, tenemos los empleados aquí trabajando, estando seguro eh, que todo el mundo esté, eh, esté sabe de las regulaciones y esté practicando esas regulaciones bien, esas son las regulaciones que vienen de CDC y de todos los eh, oficiales y expertos de, la, de las enfermedades infecciosas. Uh, Mr. Manager. Yeah, I am happy to report that uh, now we've gone, today's the second day with the same number, so we did not have an, had an increase, we did not have an increase from yesterday's number, so we're still at 44. Hopefully we're uh, starting a new little streak we only have had three cases in almost three weeks. So that's great news. Again, it follows what we've been saying that it, it appears that at least in the town of Miami Lakes, our curve is essentially flat. Uh, le quería decir que hoy el segundo día seguido con el número de casos confirmados positivo a 44. So no ha habido, no hubo un cambio desde ayer y solamente han habido tres casos nuevos en las últimas casi tres semanas, en 19 días, son casi tres semanas, solamente hemos tenido eh, tres casos nuevos. Eh, so es, eh, tenemos la curva nosotros de lo más lisa, no, no, tiene, no está aumentando, gracias a Dios, a un paso como estuvimos hace, hace un mes, que estaban uno o dos casos nuevos diarios. So hemos eh, liquidado eso. Eh, eso es importante, es muy importante, señor manager. I know testing. Uh, continues uh, to go up in our area. That's a very important thing uh, for the new normal, hopefully to restart our economy, which we asked the county mayor to do as soon as possible. But I know testing uh, per thousand residents in, in Miami-Dade County is one of the highest in the nation, actually higher than, than some, uh, some of the countries like Germany, France, and all those uh, nations. So, And I know that there's testing sites already which is very important that they're even testing folks uh, regardless of age and symptoms and I know the, the manager has that information to share with you. Una cosa muy importante es que los exámenes siguen creciendo por cada mil recientes. Ya, se están, ya estamos cerca de 28, 29 recientes que se están eh, haciendo los exámenes aquí en el condado de que es un número más grande que la mayoría de las ciudades en la nación y eh, más grande que otras eh, naciones en, en el mundo como más grande que Alemania y la Francia y eso. Eh, so eso es algo bien bueno porque es bien importante eh, que seguimos hacia adelante y que reabrimos la economía pero con esos exámenes eh, eh, going forward yo sé que pues, parte de la noticia que tenía la, el administrador eh, era que van a tener lo que se llama el antibody test eh, 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 que es bien bien importante part of the news that the manager wanted to talk about today is, is that antibody test uh, that the governor spoke about today. I don't know if you want to get into that. Yeah, I don't have the exact sites, but I know that the governor had a press conference today at Hard Rock Stadium, at the football stadium, and announced that new sites for the testing of antibodies uh, were going to be opening. So, hoy hubo una rueda de prensa del gobernador en el estadio de fútbol Hard Rock, que anunció que el nuevo lugar donde van a hacer la prueba esa de los antibodies, de los anticuerpos, van a abrir. So, es una buena noticia porque eso es una forma de saber qué porcentaje de la población tuvo o estuvo expuesto a, al virus y a lo mejor nunca tuvieron síntomas. So, es importante saber la penetración del virus en nuestra comunidad. Look, and what's very, very important as the, as the county, as we requested from the county and as they start releasing uh, the rules, ultimately it's going to be a choice. I mean, there's still going to be a lot of folks uh, that regardless if you see non-essential businesses open up they're going to stay home and that's uh that's definitely a choice i know even before the governor uh, had passed his safer at home order and and there are already folks in our community that uh that were self-quarantining and, and staying home uh which is important that choice is is vitally vitally important yo sé que hay mucha persona eh, que si reabren la economía la semana que viene o los negocios 
eh, que están cerrados y lo abren de una manera con la regulación y eso, todavía van a haber muchas personas eh, que se van a quedar en casa y eso va a ser, eh, ellos propios van a hacer esa decisión. Yo sé que adelante que, el, que la, el, el gobernador dijo que había lo que se llama un safe for at home, más seguro en su casa, la orden. Eh, muchas personas ya todavía ya estaban en la casa, se estaban haciendo cuarentena eh, en su casa ya porque por el problema del coronavirus, so, que es tan importante. But Miami Lakers, we love to hear from you if you have any questions. I know we're out here every day. I know City Hall uh, reopened this past Monday, so everything's moving forward. Uh, our parks reopened last Wednesday, which is so, so important, and we understand the impact uh, that has here in our community. I know tomorrow we're going to have a mental health Thursday again with uh, Council McCoyazo. I read something today uh, that is so important in, in this area that, that there was a study that came out saying, you know, that half, uh, half of, half of uh, all Americans uh, were experiencing some sort of issue, a mental health issue, or it was impacting the mental health, uh, the COVID-19, the coronavirus, which those are very impactful stats. He, Reciente aquí en la comunidad, mañana es el jueves de la salud mental, eh, que vamos a estar aquí con el Consal Collazo. Y hoy mismo yo vi un estudio que está hablando que más eh, que 50% de la po población de los Estados Unidos están teniendo efecto de la, se, sa, eh, la salud mental so, porque el coronavirus. Y es algo que tenemos que entender, porque es un, esto, esto es algo que está pasando que nunca ha pasado en la historia eh, moderna de nuestra, de nuestra nación y, y algo nuevo que tom hay muchas personas que tienen estrés y están eh, ansiosos, bastante ansiosos sobre eso, pero mañana vamos a tener esa discusión con otras personas aquí que van a estar proveyendo eh, servicios grat gratis para nuestra comunidad. And I know tomorrow from 8 in the morning to 2 in the afternoon, uh, we're going to be having a blood drive at Town Hall. There will be a blood drive tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Town Hall. Uh, the first five folks that get there, we're gonna have uh, Miami Lakes branded um, cows for them. And then also uh, we're gonna have, uh, for the first 100 people that show up, we are going to have mask, free mask uh, for them. So we wanna make sure they get there. Mañana tenemos la donación de, de sangre en nuestra comunidad. Va a ser en el ajuntamiento, en aquí en la ciudad de Miami Lakes, empieza a las 8 de la mañana y termina a las 2 de la tarde. Para las primeras cinco personas que lleguen, le vamos a dar una vaquita eh, de Miami Lakes, se dice Miami Lakes, están bien bonitas y para las primeras 100 personas le vamos a dar una máscara eh, gratis para llevarse eso. Muchas gracias por participar en eso, que es bien importante a donar sangre específicamente en, en estos tiempos eh, tan importantes. Mr. Manager, you got anything else? Yeah, uh, to follow up on the blood drive, actually one of our local establishments, Vicky Bakery, is going to be uh, providing uh, goodies, some food uh, for the blood drive. So, eh, mañana lo que van a donar sangre, también le van a dar proveer eh, eh, pastelitos y cosas así de comer de nuestra panadería local aquí de Vicky Bakery. Thank you Vicky Bakery for doing that. We appreciate all of our, uh, our partners in our community that make all these uh, events possible. Uh, Mr. Manager, you have a question from Alice Cruz Acevo. Well, do you know the number of cases in Hialeah Gardens? No, I, I really have not been uh, looking at, I did not see Hialeah Gardens numbers today. The problem with Hialeah Gardens, uh, what we've seen is because of the similarity with Hialeah, we believe that some of the numbers for Hialeah Gardens may be misrepresented. They may be being lumped in with uh, Hialeah. The same is happening in some of the unincorporated areas of Miami-Dade County. If their mailing address is Miami, Florida, they may have been being lumped in with the city of Miami. So uh, I don't have a lot of information on Hialeah, but I believe that the Hialeah Gardens numbers may not be correctly uh, represented in the state's uh, statistics. And as you can see, it's just uh, maybe going on to off topic here, but it's germane to the discussion. Um, but that's exactly why having an in independent zip code is so important. You can see situations like this where information gets bundled up, yet it doesn't really coincide with what's really going on. Even areas north of us, north of 170, if you look at driver's license and they say Hialeah, so you don't know if that information is being lumped up with the stats that we see um, about Hialeah too when it comes to their cases. So that's something very uh, difficult and that's why we've been pushing. We passed out of the house twice and it's been stuck in uh, in the U.S. Senate at the moment. Both Senator Rubio and Senator Scott are uh, working on that for us. Uh, Mr. Manor, John Charles Tobin, he's asking, I came in late, uh, what is the number for Miami Lakes? Yeah, our number today is the same as it was yesterday. So there was no change in our number. So we have 44 cases today. That's the same number that we've had uh, for the last two days. 
and the uh, the total number of new cases we've only had three new cases in the last almost three weeks so in 19 days we've only had three cases which is a great uh, demonstration of the flattening of the curve so como vieron en las últimas tres semanas cuántos casos en las últimas tres semanas aquí en la ciudad de Miami Lakes? solamente tres casos nueve, nuevo en la, los últimos 19 días o casi tres semanas eh, antes tuvimos una racha que estaba uno de uno a dos casos nuevos diario ahora ha habido un cambio drástico que ahora estamos como a lo más un caso nuevo semanal Mr. Manager, Didi, Didi wants to know, so there's no more curfew, right? <laughs> no, the curfew is long gone. So there's no curfew in the town of Miami Lakes, but just to reiterate, I believe there is still a curfew in all the municipalities uh, around Miami Lakes, west of us and south of us and east of us. They all have uh, curfews, right, Mr. Manager? Yeah, some of the neighboring cities around us, uh, they still have their uh, curfews in place. So it's important for you to uh, look at the information and make sure that you're aware that if you're traveling late at night. So la pregunta de Didi era si hay un toque de queda todavía aquí en la ciudad de Miami Lakes. No hay un toque de queda aquí en nuestra comunidad. Había uno hace tiempo ya de 10 días eh, temporariamente que estamos trabajando con las otras ciudades eh, cercanas aquí en la ciudad de Miami Lakes, pero en este momento no hay ningún toque de queda aquí en nuestra comunidad, pero la ciudad eh, al sur de los otros, al este de los otros y al oeste de los otros, todavía tienen eh, un toque de queda, so, para que sepan si van a salir de noche, cuando salen de nuestra comunidad hay varios eh, lugares que tienen eh, eh, toque de queda todavía. Eh, Miami Lakers, you got any questions, comments uh, for us, you know, submit them now, we're going to be logging off in the next a minute or so, but uh, we do want to thank you on behalf of uh, myself, the entire town council, the manager, uh, our, all of our staff and our volunteers want to thank you for uh, the sacrifices that you all have made the last two months to make sure that we flatten the curve and that we work together. Uh, without you all, uh, this would not be possible. I know the manager and I repeat this every time uh, that we talk about this, uh, that we do a Facebook Live, but it's the truth, you know, seeing eh, le quería dar las gracias a nuestro residente, que yo y el administrador siempre hablamos de esto, eh, porque sin la, los sacrificios de, de todos ustedes, eh, lo que hicimos con, con el coronavirus y la curva eh, no sería posible sin los sacrificios que hicieron eh, todos ustedes. So, para darle las gracias y ya poquito a poquito estamos llegando a un punto que podemos reabrir eh, todo. Le estamos pidiendo al, al alcalde del condado que lo deje ya avanzar eh, ciertos negocios aquí, obviamente, en una manera que se llama un normal nuevo eh, que, que están eh, persiguiendo eh, varias eh, eh, regulaciones aquí en nuestra comunidad. Mr. Manager, uh, Rudy Cast Cast Castañeda uh, is asking, uh, is the curfew still on for Miami Lakes? I think he just logged on. I know yeah. he just answered that. No, uh, Miami Lakes, there's no curfew. It's been, uh, it expired and we did not renew it over 10 days ago. Yolanda, uh, to get the Miami Lakes uh, mask, uh, these uh, were donated by our vice mayor. I know uh, he was supposed to be here with us today. I don't know if he's watching from home, but if he is, he can share that information on there. These are really nice. I'm gonna see if we can get him on the, uh, I, I think it's called the I Heart Miami Lakes uh, um, page on the on the town's website. See if we can put that on there too. So uh, residents can buy. There is a, a I Heart Miami Lakes uh, page that you can buy certain Miami Lakes uh, like, like stuff and we're going to see if we can add the mask uh, on there. That'll be really nice. O sea, que estamos preguntando dónde pueden encontrar la máscara de la ciudad de Miami Lakes que tenemos. El vicealcalde lo, lo donó a, al consejo. Eh, so vamos a ver si cogemos esa, esa, esa información para todos ustedes. Pero tenemos en el website de la ciudad, en, el, en la página electrónica de la ciudad, tenemos un, una, una página que es donde se puede comprar diferentes cosas de la ciudad como gorra, eh, pulo, eh, eh, hasta el vaso de tomar café y, y reloj y eso. So vamos a ver si ponemos la máscara ahí para que todo el mundo pueda comprar y señal como tanto que quieren a, a nuestra comunidad. Eh, Rayleigh, Rayleigh is asking, when are we opening multi-family pools? Uh, I think the question is the pools that are, are, uh, are in condominiums and townhome communities, uh, how, when are those going to reopen? Yeah, there's no timeline yet, but what I can tell you is as we saw already that we had the first wave of uh, return to normalcy, right? We had the parks reopen, we had our waterways reopen, our golf courses reopen, obviously all of those with restrictions. I expect different discussions that we've been having, I, be, I believe that the county is getting very close to being able to announce, maybe by the weekend, 
have an announcement about the next phase of reopenings, which I believe are going to be the first wave of mm -hmm. businesses mm -hmm. reopening, as well as some more loosening of restrictions on some recreational things like community pools, etc. So I hope that by the end of the week, before the weekend, we'll know a little more and uh, we'll have an announcement by the county that hopefully uh, will bring uh, music to everybody's ears. So la pregunta de Ray Lee era ¿qué está pasando con la piscina de los condominios, las piscinas donde viven, donde están los townhouses, la piscina común que hay en nuestra comunidad? ¿Cuándo se van a reabrir? Yeah, la, la primera ola, la primera ola de reaperturas ya se dio que cuando volvimos a abrir los parques, eh, el agua para los botes, eh, también lo, lo, los campos de golf. La próxima ola de reapertura que yo creo que va a ser la primera para el, la reapertura de negocios yo creo que ese anuncio va a venir del condado antes del fin de semana yo eso es la esperanza de nosotros y yo espero que antes del fin de semana se va a saber más que van a decir qué tipo de negocios con qué re restricciones cuándo se va a hacer pero el anuncio yo, yo espero que sea antes del fin de semana Fiori eh, Paola wants to know any help with rent or utilities like the city of Hialeah in Miami? Uh, is there any help, Mr. Manager, here in Miami Lakes? I know the city of Miami and, and, uh, and Hialeah, I think they apply for some grants through, uh, through HUD. I think it's uh, community development block grants. And, uh, and I think they're using some other funds to, uh, to provide some assistance. We, we don't have any directly here from the town of Miami Lakes, but we do have a resource page on our website that you, it's easy to find on the front page you should be able to find the link to the page that has a, a full list of resources uh, of uh, information especially dealing with finances personal finances and for businesses and you'll be able to find information on there uh, to see if they can help your situation so la señora paola fiori fiori paola quiere saber qué está pasando si hay ayuda con la renta y los utilities eh, la electricidad la agua aquí en la ciudad de Miami Lakes, como lo hay en la ciudad de, de Hialeah y en la ciudad de Miami. Eh, esa era la pregunta. Yo sé que, que parte de lo que ellos recibieron los fondos era dinero del eh, Departamento de, de Viviendas, de Housing, eh, en, en Washington, que se llama el Community Development Block Grant. Yo sé que cogieron dinero de ahí y yo creo que están usando dinero locales también para esto, señor administrador. Sí, nosotros no tenemos ningún programa directo de la ciudad de Miami Lakes, pero en la página web de nosotros tenemos una subpágina que es de recursos, muchos recursos financieros para gente individual, para eh, negocio pequeño. So, si usted va a la página de nosotros web, usted puede encontrar esa página de recursos que le puede dar la información que, que está buscando. Mark Andrew Valls wants to know, how about Miami Lakes United? We miss soccer. <laughs> yeah, that's I, like I said a little while ago, I'm hoping that the next phase or the next wave of reopenings is good, not only going to be the first wave of uh, reopening of businesses, but maybe a further loosening of uh, a reopening of some of the uh, recreational activities. And hopefully, I believe that the competitive sports like soccer, or baseball, or basketball, those are going to probably not be in the next wave, but they are in the probably in the, th the third wave. But some of that information will be released hopefully by the weekend. El señor Valls quiere saber qué está pasando con el club de soccer de balompié aquí en nuestra, en nuestra comunidad. Sí, toda la primera ola de, de reapertura de recreo, eso ya se dio. En la, antes del fin de semana yo espero que se vaya a anunciar la próxima ola uh, de, la, uh, de, de los cambios que vamos a ver. La primera que se va a incluir eh, reapertura de negocios y yo creo que también van a incluir un poquito más de recreo pero no creo que la, los juegos los, los partidos de, de, de fútbol soccer eso no se va a ver todavía pero espero que en la próxima fase por lo menos el anuncio de cuándo se pueda dar eh, eh, a lo mejor se va a anunciar Mark and I'm with you I, I really miss the organized sports in our community actually I'm, a, I'm an assistant coach in the flag football program and, I, and I'm the head coach at a a shoeless for a middle school team for basketball and I I really miss it so those are things I think you know looking back we kind of take for granted right we got so used to that now not having it uh, we know the impact that uh, that organized sports has in our community how special of an impact it has so you know I can't wait to, to get back to normal and get back to that because I think all the kids in our community are, are needed and they're yearning for it
Any other questions? So I don't see any other questions. I know we're going to be logging off in about a minute. If you do have any other questions, so, mire, ahora lo, lo vamos a estar eh, yendo en, en, en como un minuto. Le damos otro minuto a ver si tienen más preguntas, eh, comentarios. Eh, y, y si no, lo, ma, venimos para atrás mañana en vivo. Uh, Mr. Manager, any closing remarks? No, I just want to uh, let people know, you know, tomorrow, as the mayor said, is uh, uh, Mental uh, Health Day, Thursday. Uh, so t stay tuned. We know that there's a difficult situation for everybody, uh, both mentally, financially. Uh, it's really exhausting. And we want to make sure that everybody stays positive. I believe that the uh, we're about to turn the corner. We're getting close. Uh, so key, stay positive, and, uh, and hopefully by the weekend we'll have very good information to release. I agree. Let's stay positive. Let's stay optimistic. I see uh, there, there's a lot of hope out there. People are starting to see things little by little uh, get back to normal. I know other parts of the state uh, went back to normal a little bit faster than Dade County and Broward and Palm Beach. Uh, so we hope to get there soon. I know the manager, uh, myself, we reach out to the county. I believe he's he's very optimistic that we get some of those rules hopefully coming Friday. That's what, that's what we the information we've been given. So that's our hope and that's our expectation. So definitely, you know, and let us know any any little help that you might need that are anybody from our community might need, you know, definitely let us know, reach out to us, um, whatever it may be, you know, reach out to us. If we can't solve it ourselves, uh, we'll we'll reach out to the folks that can. Uh, we'll put you in contact with with whoever may be that that your, your issue uh, needs uh, attention for. Uh, but reach out to us. You know, we're here to help from from if, if folks need uh, need food, need assistance. You know, we're, we're here to help. And those programs are going forward. I know this Friday at Royal Oaks Park at 9 a.m. Feeding South Florida will be back uh, to do a food distribution. Uh, and every day, uh, Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to noon at Miami Lakes United Methodist Church, there's another 500, 700 uh, meals going out. And also uh, the delivery for seniors on Fridays, uh, plus the wellness, the wellness checks from our elderly affairs committee for those seniors. So reach out to us, let us know if there's anything we can be of service. Uh, myself, the entire town council, staff, our volunteers, I mean, you name it, we are here for you. Reach out to us, 305-364-6100, Miami Lakers, I don't see any of the comments or questions, so we're going to be logging off. We'll see you tomorrow, and together we will get through this. God bless you.